Hello friends, my name is Iman and here is Iman Global YouTube channel. Please subscribe, comment and share this video. Thank you for supporting this channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a stunning CGI VFX music video effect using Premiere Pro and Artificial Intelligence Gen 1. Let's begin by watching a preview of this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to apply a specific CGI VFX style to parts of a video using Artificial Intelligence Gen 1 from the RunWayma website. You get to choose this unique style yourself. You can select a scene from the music video or even your character, and transform them into shapes like fire, ice, lava, or any style you desire in specific parts. With Artificial Intelligence Gen 1, you can easily bring your dreams to life in a fraction of a second with just a few clicks. In this tutorial, I'll guide you through the entire process. The RunWayma website offers some of its features and services completely free of charge, and we will be using the free section of this website to execute this effect. We can have a 4 second CGI VFX simulation for free. Since I want my character to undergo a CGI transformation, I select 4 seconds of my character's movements in Adobe Premiere Pro and export it as an output file. Then, I upload it to the RunWayma website and have it converted into the desired style. So, let's get started. Using Premiere Pro, we select 4 seconds of the video and export it as an MP4 output file. If you're ready, let's get started with the tutorial. Using the in point and out point tools, we select the initial and final sections of our own 4 second footage. Now, by clicking on the export option, we enter the rendering section. In this section, all we need to do is choose a name for the file, specify its storage location, and adjust the settings as shown in the image to obtain an MP4 output. After that, we click on the export button. Now our 4 second footage is ready, and we need to go to the runwaymal.com website to upload our footage there. However, before doing so, it's better to provide you with some information about this website. Runway is a next-generation content creation suite that has everything you need to make anything you want. With 30-plus AI magic tools, real-time video editing, collaboration, and more, Runway is your go-to platform for creating professional-looking videos, images, and more. Runway is free to use, and there is also a paid subscription plan that offers additional features. To utilize the website features, you need a very simple and completely free registration. After that, you can log into the website and make use of its functionalities. After logging into the website, you will encounter an appealing feature called Gen 1 Video to Video in the Dashboard section. Allow me to provide you with some information about this feature. Gen 1 is an AI tool that can turn sketches into animated videos, create music videos from songs, and more. It's still under development but it has the potential to revolutionize the way we create and consume video content. Here are some of its features. Realistic and consistent video generation. Control over the composition, style, and content of the generated video. Ability to use images or text prompts to control the generation process. By clicking on the Gen 1 video to video option, you will be redirected to the features page where you can access its functionalities. On the right side, by clicking on the preset option, you can view the available pre-configured settings. With just one click on any of these presets, you can instantly transform your footage into that specific theme and style. Next to the preset option, you will see the image feature, which allows you to upload your own desired images. By using this feature, you can upload custom images and have your footage transformed to match the style and theme of those images. In this tutorial, we will precisely demonstrate how to utilize this method. To do this, I search for the term Iceman on Google in the image section as an example. 
I select one of the displayed images and save it as a reference in order to use it in the image section of the runway website. Here, I click on the upload option and upload the image that I had selected from Google. I upload it so that the Gen 1 system can transform my footage to match the style, color, and vibe of this image. We upload the image. After that, using the style strength option, we can determine the percentage of the image's influence on the footage. Following this step, as you can see below, we upload our own footage and wait for the file to be fully uploaded. After the footage is uploaded, we click on the image we uploaded, which can be seen on the right side, to apply the Gen 1 style of this image to our footage. We click on the Preview Styles button and wait for Gen 1 to transform our footage into the style of the photo. Four preview samples have been prepared for us, which are different from each other. By clicking on the Generate option, we can see the final output of each of them and download it if we are satisfied. After preparing the preview, we can either play it or review the previous four previews and generate other options. If we are satisfied with the final output, we can click on the download option and receive the final file. Now we enter Adobe Premiere Pro. We import the file we downloaded by right-clicking in the project window and selecting Import. We place the file on the timeline with a drag and drop, and try to synchronize it with our main project by moving it back and forth a bit and trimming it as needed. By right-clicking on the footage and selecting the Scale to Frame Size option, we synchronize its dimensions with the sequence dimensions, and even work more on its size using the Scale option in the Effects Control Panel. If needed, we can also cut parts of this footage using the Razor tool. To make the characters transition to CGI mode more seamless, I add an attractive transition with a lot of shake at the beginning and end of the footage. I select this transition from the free Premiere Composer package and apply it to the timeline. If you would like me to create a new tutorial about downloading and using the Premiere Composer package for free, please let me know in the comments. I am Iman, and this is the Iman Global Channel. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for new tutorials about artificial intelligence from this channel.